gentlemen, how are you all doing today? We're doing good. All right. Well, first of all, my name is Jason David Frank. Yes, I played Tommy the Green Ranger, many other color rangers. But uh, right now, I'd like to thank the local heroes, the true heroes, for being here on stage today. Let's give them a big hand. These are the real life heroes right here. Well, anyway, I'm very excited to be here at Salt Lake City, Salt Lake City Comic Con. We're gonna have a lot of fun. Anyway, I'd like to introduce my good friend and promoter, Dan Farr. Let's give him a big hand. Give him a big hand one more time. We have so many great heroes in this city, people that help us all. And I want to thank them for being here. So uh, next I'd like to introduce Dr. Gary Arthur. Service from members, attention. Hurt! He's going to come up and... At eight. Uh, no other Comic-Con has had the support that, that uh, Governor Herbert has given us. And he is, um, he even last time, he went and picked up Stanley at the airport when he came Well, in. thank you, Dan. I'm honored to be here and I uh, appreciate the good work of many that have put this uh, Comic Con on and uh, appreciate the good work of people. I, I think we need heroes in life, and it's nice to have so many superheroes here today and through this Comic Con. Uh, as Utah's governor, I have a significant role to play. I don't think I'm a, necessarily a superhero, uh, but I don't take myself too seriously in the role of governor either. But I do I want you to know I have my own action figure. So, uh, and uh, I see, feel right at home with the action figures that we're going to have here today and uh, with my own action figure bobblehead doll there. Um, let me just suggest to us all that this is a kind of a unique thing that's taking place here, the phenomena that we have around the country, but no more unique than it is here in Salt Lake City. Again, this past September, as a lot of you know, was the largest uh, Comic Con in its inception in North American history. And uh, it was epic in its proportions, and uh, uh, the largest convention we've ever had here in Salt Lake City. Uh, 52,000 tickets were sold, over 72,000 72, people that participated. Remarkable event. And, uh, and this year, as we sometimes wonder, is the sequel going to be better than the original? And, uh, uh, the expectations are that in this case the sequel is going to be even bigger and better than the original here. I know we're planning on nearly 100,000 people come and participate here at the Comic Con Fanex uh, convention here uh, this weekend. The one uh, superpower I do have as a governor is the ability to do decorations. So I'm going to exercise my superpowers here on this decoration I'd like to present. Whereas in the beginning, there was one Salt Lake Comic Con, and it showed us that it's good to follow our passions and act like, dress like, and live like, nay, to be heroes. Whereas the great state of Utah Comic Con fans throughout the land, in conjunction with Dan Farr Productions, created a record-setting, sold-out, inaugural Salt Lake Comic Con event, which created a greater demand for heroes and opportunities to don a cape and perform acts of heroism. Whereas Salt Lake Comic Con Fan X is expected to draw more than 100,000 attendees and to be a forum for fans from all walks of life or circumstances to be heroes, as well as to create more awareness and opportunities for more Utah residents to unleash their inner heroes in their everyday lives. Whereas today is the day to become a hero for those who matter most in their lives. Today is the day to ensure that in the brightest day, or in the blackest night, no evil shall escape our sight and our might. And whereas from this day forward, Comic Con fans throughout the great state of Utah and beyond are encouraged to be heroes to our families and communities by helping and protecting one another so our communities will be a better place to live, to work, and to play, and our great state will be a shining beacon of light and hope. Now therefore, I Gary R. Herbert, Governor of the great state of Utah, to hereby declare April 17, 2014, as Comic Con Heroes Day in Utah, and I've affixed my signature. 
So congratulations to all.